Okay, so now that we got the timing chain out of the way, we've got to get a couple of bypass uh, hoses out that are related to the heating and cooling system on the car. These are actually the heater core uh, hoses. And we got those out of the way, and we're going to focus here on the thermostat. This is a pretty important component of the engine cooling system. Um, I want you to note that there's a certain position the thermostat has to be in to allow air to bypass. So that valve there at the bottom, if it, it has to be facing up. <clears throat> if it faces down, we won't be able to bleed the air out of the cooling system and then we'll interfere with the actual cooling of the engine. It has to be completely uh, free of air. So you can see in this position, right, we have the uh, valve facing upwards. They give you a 10 degree left or right positioning on that valve. Um, to make it easier for you. Okay, next we're going to get the cylinder head removed from the actual engine block. I want to point out to you there's a tightening sequence and loosening sequence just like we do with the cams. So as we approach this, we're going to use a triple square uh, socket. So one thing that we got to be aware of is that the head bolts are usually pretty tight and they're torqued down to pretty high levels. So when we go to install this tool, um, it's got 12 total points that sink in. Well, sometimes those uh, bolts will have uh, sludge buildup in them. So we're gonna use a little hammer to try to tap down um, to work the head of the driver into the head bolt. We wanna get a good solid grip. Stripping a cylinder head bolt can be a major uh, problem if we have to try to remove it uh, without damaging other components depending on how hard they're in there. So usually what we want to try to do is take uh, measures to make sure that we do get in there good, get anchored into these head bolts. Uh, following our sequence that we just saw in the previous image, we'll just use a hammer. We're not striking on it hard at all. All we're trying to do is push it down into the grooves. We get it lined up by hand and that just gets us down into the socket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start breaking uh, these head bolts apart one by one. We're going to start loosening them up. We'll just break them loose at first um, to kind of get the stress off of the head nice and even. Um, this is uh, to prevent any uh, potential damage. I'm going to give Frank a hand here uh, because the engine uh, wants to move around. We'll speed this up, get you guys through the bolt removal for the cylinder head. Again, we're just doing it in sequence one by one. We come out with all of the cylinder head bolts and we're keeping uh, these in order. Now there's a bunch of steps to this guys as far as uh, measuring uh, the head bolts and stuff to see if they need to be replaced or they can be reused. Um, we'll talk about some of this later on. So here we go. We're going to take the head off. We got all of our bolts out. We jiggle loose. We pull straight up on it. Um, we try to interfere as little as possible because Part of what we're going to try to do is inspect our findings here. Usually if we're taking a cylinder head off of a car, there's some reason why. Um, so we're going to start looking at the cylinder head gasket itself. Uh, this is a major gasket on the engine. Um, and it can tell us a lot about what's going on inside. So very carefully, we're going to try to get closer uh, to this gasket and really, um, you know, scrutinate what we're seeing here. Uh, we're looking around the edges. Uh, for any signs of like a blow-by for potential compression leaks, we can leak oil or coolant uh, into the wrong passages through here. All of these holes uh, represent something important, whether it's engine cooling, engine oiling, or compression. Um, and we don't want any of these interfering with each other. So we're going to look through here very carefully. Try to see if we see any signs of a gasket that may have blown through, holes, deterioration, um, all kinds of different things that we can find here just by visually looking. Um, and I have included this head gasket, looks like it's in all right shape, um, but you might see a head gasket that looks very similar to something like this, where you've got a blown out portion there in the middle, um, and then we would have compression loss between the cylinders. We could also have the same thing where the jackets get plugged up with uh, oil sludge or coolant from lack of maintenance um, that can actually block off these passages and cause situations where we're getting a lack of oil pushed through the engine or a lack of cooling um, that could have led to an overheating condition or 
um, you know, an engine damage uh, due to wear of components that weren't getting uh, sufficient oil feeds. So now that we've got this all off, we're really down to the block, but we're going to do a little further inspection here um, with the cylinder block itself. We'll do that in our next sequence here of videos for you so we can kind of go through and tell you what we're, we're finding and noticing here. Okay, see you in the next video.